All right, so I opened a few packs already, and uh, I thought I was recording. Uh, I got this in the first pack, I go away, and uh, and then I yeah, and I stopped. But that this is a good pack, as I can tell, because it's got Archmage's Charm in the back as well. But that was very dumb. That was a very dumb thing that I just did there, and I apologize for missing the first pack. Archmage's Charm, very cool. Carry on feeder, yeah, and I got a. Um, I guess you should probably say. I ended up getting a, uh, ooh, ooh, did I get, yeah, two, no, a snow-covered plains and a, uh, snow-covered swamp. Sorry about that, guys. It's been a long day. I just finished pre-release. Um, so I'm filming this at three in the morning, almost. Ooh, Ren and Six. Pretty cool. Snow-covered mountain. One of probably the most useful out of all the snow-covered lands. Kai has got another good card. Wow, three in a row. I really think this is a good card. Pillage, reprint, uh, Vesper Spark thing. Okay, beautiful. Uh, I'd say we're three for three. Although the card that I'm most wanting to get is the any of the Horizon Lands. I think all of those could potentially see some modern play. Foil, Soldier Token, pretty cool. I think that's, yeah, that's a land art. Snow-covered island. A foil, venomous changeling. And a Cisse. All right, commander players right there. Not a bad card. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really play too much commander. Um, modern is my format of choice. It's my number one format. Besides, well, I also play draft and sealed and all that. Um, illusion. That's... Uh, that card my brother was playing at pre-release. Got his ass kicked. Um, Snow-covered forests. Ooh, wow. So pretty much every pack I've opened something decent. That's not bad. It's looking pretty good so far. Battle Screech. This is a good popper card. This is a reprint. Uh, so popper players. Grab them while they're hot. Shapeshifter token, goblin art, snow cover mountain, and a nice cloud shredder sliver. Wow, How much is every, worth? Uh, this is about a few, about four bucks maybe. But but seriously, every single card that I've gotten so far has been decent. I mean, technically the box is so expensive that it, you'd still argue that I'm not doing that well. But I think we're doing pretty good. That first mythic was like a. I think like almost a $20 mythic, so I think we're, we're pretty even keel right now. There's the bear art, which I actually pulled up pre-release. Okay, snow-covered swamp, and scrapyard. There we go. All right, well, we're going to get a bad one soon. Bad rare. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm really hoping for a land soon, because... Uh, as a modern player, it's probably one of the only useful cards that we have. Oh, Foil Shape of Shifter token. One of the useful cards that we can get. Snow Covered Island. Oh, it's the, I think it's the Changeling Mythic. Yep. Not bad. Uh, I think it's about $10, maybe. Something like that. It's not too, I mean, it's not going to see modern play, but, you know, it is called Modern Horizons, but it's like beating a dead horse at this point. Every time you mention that, it's Modern Horizons, but there's not a lot of modern cards. Ooh, one of the oh, that's nice. One of the swords art. That's pretty damn cool. It's not ever planes. Altered Magia. This is a reprint. Um, will it see modern play in mill decks? I don't know. I don't think so. But interesting reprint for modern. But all right. Elephant foil, nice. That's kind of weird. Snack for mountain, and we got. Ooh, it's the it's the mythic worm guy that you can get protection from everything. Hex drinker. Interesting. Uh, not. I mean, I don't want this card as a mythic, uh, but 
Yeah, this kind of eats away at a lot of opportunity later on in the box. That's my only gripe about that, really. Also, we haven't seen a... I was almost... Yeah. We haven't seen a damn land yet. What's going on here? Where's the Horizon Lands? That's why I got the set, is for the Horizon Lands. Cool. It's that uh, Winds of Abandon, I believe. It's like for a swamp. What do we get? Is it a land? It is a land. Oh, no, it's not. It's Whoa. Same pack. The art and the card. Wow, that was weird. Interesting. Uh, sliver. Okay. Two slivers in that pack for the common slot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm not too thrilled. And it started off like so much promise, so much promise, and now I don't know. Not in it land. Oh well, people are saying this might see some sideboard play in modern. I don't. I don't think so, to be honest. I doubt it. Okay, scroll nice. This is a cool reprint. Soldier token. Watcher or something. I can't remember what it's called. Snow covered mountain. And we got another. We, we got this card already. Oh my god. We're getting duplicate rares now. Okay. That's not looking good. They really are trying to keep these lands out of our hands by giving us these duplicate rares. I guess they're really trying to keep the value of the horizon canopy up by making these so hard to get. Illusion. The frog guy. Cleaving sliver foil. That's pretty cool. Actually, my brother pulled this and produced this exact foil. And... Oh, uh, it's Force of Rage, the worst Force card. God damn. This card's balls. It's so bad. So essentially, you exile uh, a red card from your hand, right? And then you can create two blockers, chump blockers. And that's really all it is. Because if you're paying the three mana cost for two, three, three run red elementals, that's not that good. It's either you, because you have to sacrifice them, so you can't even get that trample in. And haste. What's the point? It's literally, it's the worst card. I think it's terrible. Okay. Alpine Guy, that's an interesting reprint. Okay. All right. Come on. Give me one. I, I honestly, I won't be satisfied until I get Horizon Land. Ninja, Swamp, Force of Vert, two forces in a row. Regrowth, that's actually a decent uncommon, but it was just reprinted in Masters 25, so it's not really worth anything. It's not even 50 cents, I don't think, right now. Swords, art, pretty cool. And we got a land. I can see right here. Thank God. Nurturing P... Oh, okay, all right. Cool. I don't know where I'd put... I guess I could put this in maybe my Living End deck, maybe. It might... I don't know. I'm trying to think of what deck in my modern it can go in. I don't really need it for Death Shadow that bad because I don't think we. I don't think I run green. But either way, at least we got one. At least we got somewhere with it. The one I'm looking the, forward to the most is uh, the red white for my burn deck, and also the green uh, blue one for my infect deck. Because I think you know those are both very aggro decks, and sometimes you run out of steam and need that to draw that extra card. Another one. Wait. No. What? What is this card? Ah, oh, gross. Terrible. That was awful. I thought it was the red. Yeah, the red blue one. That would have been the best. Fiery Islet, I think it's called. Something like that. Zombie. Oh, Yogmoth. Pretty cool. Snow-covered forest, and we got mirrored and besieged. I think, yeah, mirrored and besieged. Not anything interesting there. Okay, second half. So we got one land and one and half of the box. So will we get two? Is that what we're going for here? It's not very good. Two. Ah, the reprint, judgment reprint. Okay. Yeah, we're slowing down a lot here, man. Oof. 
Okay. Did you guys have a fun time at pre-release? Another? We got the same art. Already, we already got this one. Did you guys have a good time at pre-release? Like, what'd you pull? Do you think the set's overrated? Or underrated, I guess, because more people are saying it's overrated. Or bad. Tornado. And we got another creature. And it's, uh... Oh! There you go. That's, uh, from my brother's human deck. Let me sideboard that. That's a good card. Uh, okay. Yeah, not that great. Mm. Soldier. Oh, Sliver. Art. That's pretty cool. Snow-covered mountain. And... Is it a land? It is. Prismatic Vista. Nice. Very cool. Um, it's basically an evolving wilds that doesn't come in tapped. All right, so <laughs> I mean that wasn't a horizon land, but it's it's basically a monocolor fetch land, kind of, but not really monocolor. It's basically you fetch for a basic instead of a mountain or whatever. It should be good for like a, what's that blue? It's the all, every land is blue. Yeah, there, there's definitely some decks it can go in. I just don't really think it's that but great. The creatures are Ooh, creature. Plague Engineer. Interesting. Yeah, no, I know. It's not a bad card. It's just, uh, I would much rather get a Horizon Land than that. Because I think the Horizon Lands are more likely to see a lot of potential index. Um, and a sword. It's the better one, too. Sword of Truth and Justice. Very cool. We got a lot of mythics so far. I'm going to have to go over this, but I think we have at least, I'd say, th four mythics right now. We still have a good, like, 13 packs or more to go. Oh my god, this thing's impossible to get open. This is, I'd say this is a pretty damn good box so far. Um... Oh my god. I think this is Force of Negation. This is like the best rare in the set. Yes! <laughs> All right, now this is going into my sideboard, my blue eye control deck. Wow, okay, so this, officially, this box opening has is, is gotten pretty good. If we get like an Urza, then it's off the charts good. Wow, that was cool. That was pretty cool. Packs are getting harder to open as the, as the box gets to the end. Okay, illusion token. All right, decent art. Snow Cover Island, and we got Force of Despair. One of the better forces of this set. Um, not the best. Force of Negation is the best, and Force of Rage is definitely the worst, in my opinion. Awful. You waste the red card to get a uh, blockers. Okay, foil. Elemental token, pretty cool for young Pyromancer decks. Snow covered forest and another. Nice. Whoa, we got two of the same Horizon Lands. Two of the ones I don't know if I could use. All right, whatever. I could trade this in for maybe I'll trade some of a red, white one. Uh, pillage. How? Okay, so at least we got another Horizon Land. It's two of the exact same, but I mean. I mean, that's something, though. Okay. Okay, snow-covered. Oh, what do we have here? It's a land, I think. No, it's not. What the hell is that? Oh, it was one beneath it. Yes, Hall of Heliod's Generosity. So this is interesting. It's basically, uh, like, what is that card? Oh, my God, I'm, the name is escaping me. Valros Stronghold or something, I think. But it, I think that's the name of it. But essentially, uh, you can put any enchantment card uh, from your graveyard on top of your library for two mana. So if you're running like an enchantment uh, EDH deck, it's a really good card. Okay, not bad. That's an, that's an okay card. That's actually, I think, like 10 bucks or something right now. Goblin Foil Token, another Sliver. So Reap the Past, it's a bulk rare if I've ever seen one. Green, yeah, green-red. Somehow green-red with 
when it comes to bulk. There's just so much bulk rares for green red. Okay, bird. Urza. Very cool. Will he show up in this pack? Let's look for mountain and season pyromancer? No. Some some bull crap. Generous gift. All blossoms, okay. God damn it. Alright. Squirrel foil token. Ooh, this is what we pulled first mythic. Nice. Snow covered swamp and Goblin Engineer. That's actually a good rare. It's like a five dollar rare, but I mean eh. Okay, it's slowing down now. Slowing down. We haven't seen anything too crazy in the last three packs. Okay. Snow covered forest. Oh god. Oh god. That was just let's not even talk about that. That was just oof. That was rough. Okay, so Sarah, Snow Covered Island, and we got <gasps> it's a foil rare or mythic. What is it though? It's green and red. Is it a land? No, it can't be. Is this blue? Is that blue and red? Is it the blue red land? Dude, it might be the blue red. That's the most expensive. Oh, it's the worst rare in the set. <laughs> oh my god. We Literally, the card I just made fun of, it came back to haunt me. Look, it was like, oh, you think I'm bulk, huh? Well, I'll give you bulk. Oh my god. So is that bulk foil or rare? And I got Force of Vigor as the rare. Oh my god, that was that almost gave me a heart attack, and it was like the worst one you can get. I was like, wow, okay. So this, this box is not that great anymore. Like, it could have had potential for being an amazing box, but... It let me down at the end. Last four packs. So I got a forest. And I got a, a foil. No, it's not a foil. Rare, though. Okay, strings of Disappearance. And, uh, Endling. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Now I'm starting to become a hater of this set. I don't know if the set's that great. I think this set is, like, it's really hit or miss. I haven't gotten any of the better cards. Uh... Swamp and Deep Forest Hermit. Okay, wow. Yeah, it's gotten... It's... Wow. It's went from, like, being really good to really crap. One more after this. Let's get another Horizon Land, will we? Maybe that'll make me a little bit happy, but... Cobble Matron Foil. It's gotta be pretty good. It's a reprint. Oh, God. Whenever I see... Oh, Season's Master. Okay, Mythic. Decent Mythic is, like... 15, $12, $15. Dollars. Um, this is interesting. They basically reprinted Lightning Hill, except it's a sorcery instead of an instant. Because its flashback cost is a red and a white, and it deals three damage target creature, and you gain, uh, or player, and you gain three life. Or is it, tar is it two? To any target, yeah, so. Um, Alright, so here it is. The Moment of Truth, last pack. Will it be Urza? Urza could literally turn this whole thing around. Foil spider token. Ninja dude. Art. Snow cover covered mountain. It's got green, so it's it's oh no, it's blue. It's the green blue land, I believe. Yes, thank you. Something finally for a deck that I actually have. The infect deck. That was a good opening. That was a decent opening, I think. It was saved a little bit by the end because it was the card I wanted. Okay, first chosen. Not bad. Let's see how many mythics we got because I think we got a lot of mythics. Let's do a little recap because I know people... That's, that's what I like to see when I see magic openings. People... So, we got five mythics. Echo Vions, Morophon the Boundless, Hex Drinker, Swords of Truth and Justice, and Season Pyramus. So, best one... So Echo of Eons, and I think the second would be Sword of Truth, I believe, and then Season of Pyromancer. I think this is how it goes, I think. So this is me, 20, these are both around 20, but 40, 
55, I think it's like 10, I think it's both like 10 each maybe, 65 cents. So it's like $75 in Mythics. That's not that great to be honest. Um, but in Rares, let's do a little recap of this too. So Rares and Foils that are good. We got this, this is a good one. Um, decent, decent, decent. Uh, yeah, that's good. It's a good one. This is good. Good. Other dementia. Sliver. I think this is okay. This is okay. Decent. Decent. Okay, so essentially these are the good rares we got. So. Yeah. I'd say that's decent. All right. I hope you guys did a little better than I did. Um, so remember to have fun this weekend and uh, take care and keep cracking those packs. Latest.